today's lesson is we will be using benchmark fractions to compare and order. Yesterday we used least common multiples. Today we're going to be using a different strategy to figure out which is less than, greater than, or equal. So write this vocabulary word down at the top of your page called benchmark fractions. Benchmark fractions are common fractions, such as one-half, that are often used to compare and order fractions. So if I have these two fractions, one-fourth and five-sixths, we can use a fraction that's a little more common to us, such as one-half. So I'm going to draw a number line with one-half, and then I'm going to draw a number line for my other two fractions, one-fourth, and five six. So after I've made these number lines, I know that one fourth is less than half. So and five six is more than half. So using that one half, it's easy to tell that if one is less than a half and one is more than a half, that the one that's more than one half is going to be the greater fraction. So 5, 6 is going to be more than 1 fourth, or is greater than. We're also going to still be putting three fractions in order from least to greatest as well. So we can put these on a number line, and we have 1 half. That's obviously right in the middle. If we put 2 thirds on a number line, two-thirds is a little more than one-half and one-sixth is less than one-half. So if we're going to put all three of these from least to greatest, the one that is the closest to zero and goes the least amount to the right is one-sixth. So that's going to go first. One-sixth is our least our middle fraction is one half, which is exactly right in the middle of our number line. And our greatest is two thirds. And that is our answer of least to greatest. I want you to do this one along with me. So I want you to draw number lines for these two fractions. So first of all, draw one line. If it's one-fourth, we need to divide it into four pieces. And if we have one of those pieces, we're going to put our little dot right there on one-fourth. Now we need to compare these two, so we need a number line for six-eighths. So divide another line into eight pieces, and then we're going to be putting our dot on the sixth one. Sorry, I probably went a little too fast. I'll let you catch up real quick. You might need to pause. So which one of these is greater? It is 6 eighths. Okay, our second one for you to do together with me is one from least to greatest. So we have three fractions. So we're going to draw our number lines. So draw a line and make it one half. So you're going to divide it into two equal parts. Mine's not quite perfect. Hopefully you draw yours a little bit better than mine. And we put our dot right there. We're going to make a second number line for three-fourths. Let's go ahead and draw that. should look a lot like this. And three-fourths will be right here and draw one-third. That dot goes there. Okay, which of these is the least is one-third? Which one's going to come second? One-half. And which one is the greatest? Three-fourths. Okay, so now we're to the problems you do on your own. 
So our strategy today is using number lines. Our least common multiples is still a really good strategy. If you want, you can use that to check your work. But today we're going to focus on number lines. So draw a number line for 3 fourths and a number line for 1 third. And then put in the circle if it's greater than, less than, or if they are equal. Number two, same instructions. Greater than, less than, or equal. And do 1 sixth and 2 thirds. For number three, we're going to order these three fractions from least to greatest. So you have one half, one fourth, and five eighths. So you're going to need to make three number lines for this one. Same thing for number four. Order from least to greatest. Two thirds, three sixths, and one fifth. Bring these into class tomorrow. And have a wonderful day.